guys, I got donuts. I love donuts. Oh, me too, dude. Let's look at them. Yeah. What? What? Cody, they look so stale. Dude, I thought you had Krispy Kreme. What the hell is this? Well, Dunkin' Donuts was on the way, and Krispy Kreme was 10 minutes in the other direction. But Krispy Kreme is clearly better, Cody. Yeah, they make them in-house with fresh icing. Yeah, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is like delivery, like two weeks old. Well, look, I got Joseph his damn coffee, so hop off my cock, okay? Uh, I so, guess so. Joseph, how do you like your coffee? Black, like the lives that matter. Hmm. I'm just gonna take a sip of this. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's oh, oh, no, oh, get, 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 get the napkins, get the napkins. Okay. Great. Okay, Cody, I got the napkins. Okay, wipe it up, but be careful, it's really hot. Oh, uh, Cody, what happened to Ken's feet? Yeah, oh my god, the coffee was so hot it melted Ken's feet off. What am I gonna suck on now? Jesus, that's some hot coffee, dude. Well, Cody, what would have happened if you would have drank that coffee? It probably would have melted my throat. Junior, that coffee was way too hot. We gotta call a doctor, and we should call a lawyer, because I'm gonna sue Duncan down for this. Uh, okay, I'll call the doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a doctor? And I also brought my lawyer outfit because somebody said something about a lawsuit? Yes, doctor. I was drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee and I spilled it and it melted my boyfriend's feet off. Okay, well I have two problems with that. One, why were you drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Starbucks is far superior. And two, wow, that coffee must have been really hot. That's why we called you. The coffee was so hot it burnt plastic. Doctor, my boyfriend will never walk again. Dude, he was a doll. He's never walking anyway. He's not a doll, Joseph. You know what, why, why don't you just get out of here? Okay, you know what, I'm out of here. So doctor, what can we do about this? Well, I think you're definitely right to sue them because that coffee was way too hot. So hold on, let me get my lawyer outfit. All right, let's talk lawsuit. This is my lawsuit. <laughs> no. Okay, so you want to sue Dunkin' Donuts, right? Yeah, that's right, because my boyfriend is going to have to suffer years of pain and suffering. He can't feel a thing, dude, because he's a dog. Get the hell out of here, Joseph. I'm just saying he's a dog. He's not a dog, Joseph. I just mean like he's Cut a dog. Cut it out, Joseph. He's not a dog, Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so, I'm sorry, where were we? Uh, you were suing Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, that's right, I want to sue Dunkin' Donuts. Well, okay, I think you have a case, so let's go to court! Na -na 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 -na. We'll take my car, come on. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober. Today we will be hearing the case of Cody Nutkiss versus Dunkin' Donuts. Cody is saying that Dunkin' Donuts made their coffee too hot and it burned the feet off of his boyfriend. Cody, explain your explanatory explanations. Well, Your Honor, I picked up some donuts from Dunkin' Donuts for my friends and they wouldn't hop off my cock about me not getting Krispy Kreme, so I was going to angrily take a sip of Dunkin' Donuts' terrible coffee, but then it was so hot, I dropped the cup on my boyfriend's feet, and as you can see, the coffee melted his feet beyond all recognition. I see, yes. His feet do look like melted caramel. The lawyer for Dunkin' Donuts, what do you have to say about the allegations of your coffee being too hot and whatnot? Hello, my name is Mr. Goodman and I'm the lawyer representing Dunkin' Donuts today. Dunkin' Donuts has provided me with their statement that they would like me to read in court. Allow me to read it. They say, and I quote, Coffee is hot. No shit. Be careful when you drink it. Coffee hot. Coffee be like that. Hmm, yes. Coffee do be like that. Let the record show coffee do be like that. Cody, what do you have to say about coffee hot coffee do be like that? Well, no shit, it's coffee. I, I think what my client is trying to say, that yes, we all know coffee is hot, and coffee do be like that. I think we can all agree with that. But there's no reason that Dunkin' Donuts coffee should be so hot it burns a doll's feet off. He's not a doll! Let the record show he's not a doll. Continue. Your Honor, my client was just trying, hard emphasis on trying, to enjoy a cup of that horrible, awful, disgusting diarrhea drink that Dunkin' Donuts calls coffee. Now, I don't know why someone would choose Dunkin' Donuts for coffee when there are so many better alternatives. I mean, Starbucks is way better, and even McDonald's is a close second. Their caramel frappe is the shit. I mean, when their machine works. But even Dunkin' Donuts donuts are crap, and Krispy Kreme is way better. I mean, they say American runs on Dunkin'. No, American runs from Dunkin', but, but no, I, I'm rambling, Your Honor. My, my point the point here is that what few customers Dunkin' Donuts does have should not have to worry about their feet being scalded off if a spill should occur. Now, I don't know how much we're trying to get out of Dunkin' Donuts because I don't even know how they make any money, but his boyfriend can never walk again. And how much do you think that's worth? That do bring a tear to my eye. Attorney for Dunkin' Donuts, how could you possibly defend this? Well, Your Honor, all Dunkin' Donuts says in their statement is, 
coffee hot and coffee be like that? I mean, it goes without saying that coffee is hot and that you should be careful with it. I wish I could see just how hot this coffee was. Does anyone have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Yes, Your Honor. I have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee right here. Oh, yes. Bring me this hot bean juice. Here you go. Thank you. I will now taste the hotness of this coffee. Oh, Jesus, good God. That, that is some very hot coffee. I find Dunkin' Donuts guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. guilty. Ah, ooh. Yay, we won! Yes, justice was served! You hear that, Ken? We won! I order Dunkin' Donuts to pay the victim 20 million dollars. Or... You could take the mystery box. Which one will you choose? Well, I'm obviously gonna take the 20 million dollars. No, 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 ho hold on, kid. That mystery box could be anything. What if it's 40 million dollars? Well, I, I, I think I'm just gonna play it safe and take the 20 million, and I think that's good enough for me. But, but what if it's 100 million dollars? I don't think 100 million dollars is gonna fit in that little box. Well, what if it's a check for 100 million dollars? What if it's a check for a billion dollars? It could be literally anything. No, I don't really think we should. We're gonna take the mystery box. What, what are you doing? Look, look, I'm your lawyer. I know what's best for you, and I wanna see what's in that box. Good choice. There you go. Don't open it in here. If it's a billion dollars, I wouldn't want you to be swarmed. <laughs> no, shoot. Go home. Court adjourned! <laughs> Alright, kid, I promise you won't regret this. Let's go home and open this bad boy. Alright, let's see what's in this mystery box. Cody, what is this? Well, in the lawsuit with Dunkin' Donuts, we had a choice between 20 million dollars and a mystery box, and we picked the mystery box. Trust me, kid, whatever's in here is gonna be worth way more than 20 million dollars. It could be a deed to a private island, or even the Mona Lisa. Let's open it up. Oh, can, I, can I open it? Yeah, sure, Junior. Okay. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's a box of f***ing Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, but did, did, did somebody say free? So scan the QR code, kid. I don't want to scan the QR code because I don't want the goddamn donuts. It says one dozen donuts. Let's look. Well, oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's not even a full dozen donuts. This is literally just somebody's leftover donuts. Yeah, kid, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I know. I just My curiosity got the best of me. We really should have taken that $20 million. God damn you and your stupid goddamn mystery box! I didn't want these stupid donuts! Give it Dunkin' Donuts suck anyway! My boy is not that feet! Hey, call Cody! I, come I, I, I'm just gonna go, I'm sorry. Cody, 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 listen, listen, listen. Why don't we just go buy another Ken doll and put the legs on that doll on this Ken? <sighs> Junior, we can't just replace Ken. I'm not saying replace Ken. I'm saying get a whole other Ken doll, break the legs off, and put them on your Ken. Okay, but I don't even know if they still sell Kens. Oh, hold on. Let me grab my phone. Okay, Cody, I got my phone. Um, it doesn't look like they sell him anywhere. I told you, Junior, he's a one-of-a-kind piece of ass. You can't just buy him, okay? The closest you're gonna find is on Grinder. Okay, well, I have a bunch of action figures in my room, Cody. I can go grab them. We can, like, take the legs off them and put them on Ken. <sighs> I guess it's worth a shot. All right, Cody, these are the only three G.I. Joes I have. Oh, look at the yams on him. Damn. Oh, man, he could crush my head with those. Mm. What about this one, Cody? Um, it doesn't really match the rest of Ken. What are you talking about? I think he's perfect. Well, he's fine. But what about this guy in the middle? He's like, nah, nah, nah. his mouth is all weird. No, but what about this one? This one's like perfect. Well, uh, it's, you know, he, you know what? He, his legs are too thin. That's what it is. They're too thin. Are you sure it has anything to do with him being black? But no, no, of course not. It's just the legs. They're too thin. I, I like this guy better. His legs are all beefy. And you're sure you don't want this one? Uh, it, yes, I'm sure. I like, I like this one. Mm, damn. Okay. So not this one. No, it, it, Junior, no. I, I'm going with this one. Okay, you hear that, everyone? He doesn't want this one. It's just because of the leg thing. It's not, it's not like that. It's just this guy, look at his leg. Damn, look at that. Okay, sure, buddy. Don't, don't say it like that. Okay, Junior, we have to take the legs off of him and put those legs on him. Get started. Well, I don't know where to start. I'm not a doctor. Did somebody say doctor? No, no, you get the hell out of here. Well, look, kid, I'm sorry about the whole donut thing, and I want to make it up to you by doing the surgery that you want to do for free. Hmm. Okay, fine. All right, get out of my way, everybody. I'm going to do surgery. Okay, patient is male. His name is Ken, 24 years old. He's a doll. He's not a doll, doctor. Okay, he's not a doll. We're doing a double leg transplant. Okay, nurse, scalpel. Here you go, doctor. Right leg amputated. Right leg amputated. 
Nurse, McDonald's Sprite. McDonald's Sprite. How the hell am I supposed to drink it? I have a mask on. Put oh. my mask down. Oh, sorry, doctor. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, mask up. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, left leg amputated. Left leg amputated. Okay, come here, Max Steel. Nurse tape. What? Goddamn tape, give me the tape. Okay. <sighs> He's perfect. The perfect man. Doctor, his legs aren't in socket. Look, they wanted a miracle. I gave him a miracle, okay? All right, I'm gonna take him back. All right, kid, there's your boyfriend. Oh, wow, look at those hips. Looking like a Pixar mom. This video should be called Thick Ken. Yeah, did I do good or did I do good? Oh, you did great, doctor. But uh, how long does that tape have to stay on there? Oh, you know, I'd probably leave it on for a few days, weeks, months, years, forever. You know, just, just don't take it off. Well, do you think he's in any pain? Oh, no, no, he's not in any pain. Look at that face. He, he is happy. Well, well, can we put his shorts on? I don't want him walking around with his hog out. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, there, there you go, good as new. Oh, that's great, thanks, Doc. All right, uh, yeah. Cody, he looks weird. Oh, of course he looks weird, Junior. He just got out of surgery. The anesthesia's probably still wearing off. His legs just, whatever. You just gotta get used to him. Come on, Kent, let's go home. Mm -hmm.